Hi there, Brian from Ink Sauce. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically notify your customers via a text message or a phone call before an event like an install. Now, proper preparation helps with vehicle wrap installs or sign installs, and oftentimes customers may forget to do those necessary prep steps. So we're going to give them a gentle reminder. Let's get started. All right, so the automation we're gonna to build today uses three different tools. The first tool is Google Calendar. Now you may already be using this to schedule installs. It makes managing the schedule very simple. We can pretty much key in whatever we want. The second tool that we're gonna use is called Zapier. Zapier is a web app that connects other web apps together to allow you to automate different tasks like exchanging data back and forth. And lastly, the third tool is called Twilio. So it is a platform that allows you to send phone calls and text messages via API um, automatically. So those are the three tools. Let's start with Google Calendar. Now, Google Calendar is great because it lets you quickly set up and drag and drop your schedule and move things around really easily. But one of the downsides is it lets you pretty much enter anything that you want, which is, is not good when we're trying to exchange data. So when you create your events, like your wrap installs, what you wanna do is follow the same format every time. And that will help you if you decide to automate this even further down the line. So what we've got, we've got the name, the phone number, and the email address in here, but you could also add more details about the wrap, uh, the sign install, whatever you like. But the most important thing here is that you've got the phone number inside the description field inside Google Calendar. So with that set up, Next, we're gonna dive into Twilio and set up the account. All right, so jump over to the Twilio website. You're gonna sign up for an account on the top right-hand side, and they do have a free trial, so you don't have to pay right away. But uh, go ahead and pause the video, get that set up, and then come back. All right, great. So now you're logged into your Twilio account. What you're gonna do, uh, if you scroll down, at the very bottom, you'll see a phone number section that says get a phone number, or you could just click over here on the left-hand side, this little hash mark, and now we're gonna set up a phone number. So it, what you could do, you could click this plus button up here to actually start searching for phone numbers, and you're probably gonna wanna look for something in your area code. Uh, and you could search by the exact number you want or the area code. And once you find a number you like, you can just click buy over here. Uh, the price for these numbers is it looks like $1 monthly, but um, the first number that you get through the free trial is obviously free. So once we've got a phone number, that's all you need from Twilio. And next, we're going to go into Zapier and actually build this Zap. All right, so now you're logged into Zapier. What you're going to do is look for Make a Zap on the top right. So click that. It opens up a new Zap editor. The first thing we're going to configure is the trigger. The trigger is the event that kicks off this workflow. So we're gonna use Google Calendar for that. And you could search that at the very top here, just type Google Calendar. And the next step is choosing the actual trigger we're going to use. So what we wanna do is use this event start trigger. This is gonna fire this workflow at a certain time before an event starts. Now we're gonna set this up for one day, but you could do two days or you could do two hours if you wanted to. That choice is up to you. We'll hit save and continue. And then the next step is gonna to be to connect your Google Calendar account. You click connect an account and it will actually link up with Google Calendar and authorize Zapier to use that data. Now, once you've got that connected, continue to the next step. This is where we're actually setting up the event. Uh, so it, now we're going to choose our calendar and I've got this set up on our installs calendar and for the time before I'm just going to hit one and then the time before units we're just going to change this to days. Now it, the search term would allow me to search for just wraps or just signs if I wanted to but for now I'm just going to hit continue and then we're going to pick up some sample data. Now. On, on this section, what you'll want to do is make sure that the test event that you've created is within one day of starting. And then down below, you'll click Get More Samples. Now, this will pull samples from your Google Calendar account. And at the very top, I could see that we've got this sample. And if I scroll through here, I could see some of the data we've entered, like um, the description here. I've got the name, phone number, email address, who created it, 
and any other details about that specific event, like the summary, which is the title. So the next step, once you've got this, just hit continue, and then we will add an action step. So the first action step that we're gonna do is uh, a, a tool called Formatter by Zapier. And basically what we're gonna do is extract that phone number from the description field. So when I click add a step, I'll choose action search, and then I'm just gonna type formatter into the search bar. The option that we're gonna choose for this is at the very bottom, it's called text. Hit save and continue. And the transform section that we're looking for is called extract phone number. So what this will do, it's gonna search the description field for a phone number, bring that back to us. That way we've got a clean phone number that we can put into Twilio and send our customer that text message. So where it says input here, what we're doing is, is picking the field from our Google Calendar event that we wanna run this formatter on. So you're gonna pick the one that says description. So it's gonna take all this text here, look for a phone number and then return that if it finds it. On the bottom right hand side, click send test and this way we can see if this is actually going to work. So boom, here we go, the phone number has worked and then we'll go ahead and click add a step. So we're not done yet, we've gotta set up the text message through Twilio. All right, so we're gonna click add a step and the next app that we're searching for is Twilio. And what we're gonna do here, you can also set up phone calls, but for now we're just gonna choose send SMS. We'll hit save and continue. And again, just like you connected to Google Calendar, you're gonna click connect an account. That'll pop up and it'll ask you for your account SID and the auth token. So you could click this link to quickly find that and then just key that in and authorize Zapier to connect to your account. Once that's set up, hit save and continue. And then we'll actually set up this text message. So the first thing is gonna be the from number and we'll click the drop down, and this should show all the numbers that you've got set up in your Twilio account, which is probably just one at this point. So we'll choose that one phone number. And for a sender ID, we could just leave this blank. The two number is going to be that phone number that we, uh, we picked up from step two, that formatter option. So when I click the drop down, choose number two, pick description with that phone number. The next section, is our message. I'm just gonna copy and paste some boilerplate into this message. Hey, it's Brian from Rap City. Just wanted to let you know we're, you're up for install. Make sure you bring a check. So hey, you customize this to fit your business. Uh, whatever you wanna put here is fair game. And you can even use variables or you know data from the first two steps, like the customer's name if you wanted to. Uh, the next thing that we'll set down at the very bottom, you wanna make sure that if you're using a longer text messages like this, that you set send large messages to yes, so that it pushes all this in a single message. The last thing that we're gonna do is click continue. And this will just show you, here's all the data that we're gonna send for a test. So you click send test to Twilio, and this will send a text message to whatever number you've got here. And typically, if you're on a trial account from Twilio, it'll add a trial from Twilio to the start of this message. But go ahead and hit send test to Twilio to make sure that's working. And once you get that back, it will look something like this. Test back, it will say, hey, a test SMS was sent to Twilio about 20 seconds ago. Hey, this is perfect. It will confirm that, hey, this is done. And if I pull up this text message on my phone, we could clearly see that it's sent perfectly. And then all you have to do is scroll down where it says finish. Now, at this step, you'll go ahead and give your zap a name. And let's just say automatic install reminder. And then all we do from there is just click to turn our zap on. Now, this will run automatically every 15 minutes and send those text messages out to our customers. So we could set this up and forget it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like more tutorials like this one, make sure you hop over to our website at inksauce.io and hit subscribe so that you get these sent directly to your email inbox. Thanks again.